Oh, trouble. Danica Patrick. That could have been some uh, tandem drafting gone wrong. That's the one risk with this style of racing. Very wet grass down there. Hopefully she can get out of it. Yes. Kyle Larson's pushing her. Uh, he hooked her. She got turned to the right. And, hit the wall. and that's a really kind of an inexperienced thing. I mean, Kyle Larson doesn't have a lot of experience with this. Got a to Daytona. And, uh, man, that was just a... Just a small mistake, but it yeah, caused a big problem. And you don't have a pressure gauge of how hard you're pushing the car in front of you. So in Kyle Larson's defense, it is very... Well, you come to Talladega, you're sweating. Today we had on the hooded sweatshirts and the jackets. Uh -oh. Trouble, Kyle Larson, Jeffrey Earnhardt. Doesn't look like too much damage to the 79, but Larson's car looks torn up a little bit. Hey, Reed Sorensen stuck over there. I'm sure they're both really frustrated. Bam. He did a really good job of driving it there. I've seen Jeffrey Earnhardt getting caught up in it. That's almost the same thing we saw with Danica Patrick. Wrong place, wrong time for Pastrana. Yeah, definitely. He tried to go down to avoid it because the, the 43 car initially went to the outside. He hits the wall a ton right there. It doesn't maybe look like a lot to the viewers at home, but that's a really hard hit. That happens so fast. This, this is one of those places... When a wreck happens in front, you, you, oh man, it's close. You just, you have to, you have to stand on the brakes and trap. Well, oh. trouble, Blake Cook into the outside wall, turned out of the draft. Uh, that could have been big. Out. So far, no caution. That right front fender went somewhere though. I don't know if that right front's gonna hold on. That's exactly what happened there. They're up close to the wall. Now. Cook, he put his his partner there in the uh, in the 31 car. He put him up close to the wall, and it looked like Algar thought, "Man, I don't want to be that close to the wall." And as he turned down just a little bit, he hooked Cook in the right rear, and it, that's slow mo and it half time. Oh, there it is, turn three. Brian Scott, Johanna Long. Trevor Bain, and more. Ty Dillon. Are we jump? Turn up pretty good, Kelly. By the 70 car, you know, just not enough space. I believe, I truly believe it's a product of raindrops. Everyone's saying go for it. We heard James Finch and those guys telling Kurt Busch, lead the thing. We need to, we need to be the out front. And it's, when you get aggressive here, and that's about the farthest point away from the spotters that you can be. And remember, if the white flag waves on the leaders take, oh, there's trouble. Coulter, turn to the tri behind you. Right behind you. Caution is out. Try to get by him. Try to get by him. Try to get by him. Yeah, I'm all right. Running in fifth at the time. That's the balance. You've got to push for everything you've got, but you just, it's one inch too far in your spun. I really hate it ended like that. Middle of this mix. And he's they had some okay, momentum. Let's... Got turned. Uh, yep. He hesitated just a little bit and then decided to tuck back in line and Algar wasn't, wasn't following what Coulter was really thinking right there. And that, that's trying to get two guys to think the same way in those types of situations is almost impossible. Now run right to the finish. I think Clickerman's in the seat right here to win this thing. Ten cars chasing after him in the draft. Final lap of Talladega. Who's going to get back here first? I like Kirk Busch's chances. I spoke way too early. Yeah, he's got the momentum right here with all guys. There they go. Oh, he side drafted as hard as he could. He split them up. Don't count Logano and Bowman out there. Here they come. Here comes 20 and Vickers, 11 and Sadler up through the middle. Oh, Bowen trying to stay with Logano. Kurt Busch sliding up the track to block. Here comes Regan Smith to the outside. Logano moves to try and pick him up. Smith to the bottom. Oh, Vickers turn around. Who gets to the checkered flag? Here they come to the stripe while they crash behind him. Unbelievable. Who won? Casey Kane, I think, is the winner. All kinds of cars crashing behind them to the finish line. I believe the five got there by...
just a couple of inches, maybe the width of that front splitter. Guys, I've never seen anything like that. I hope everybody's all right. That's the most spectacular finish I've seen ever. You haven't called the finish yet. 20 Vickers, 11 Sadler. I was looking straight at the finish line. Wreck. Can not tell who won I can't that. tell. We're, I mean, we're parked right above the finish line, folks, and we can't tell you who won the race. Just from our perspective, it looks like Casey Kane. Well, he looks like he it yet, now the other question is, had the call, call is, it's Regan Smith in the seven. He was apparently ahead at the moment of caution. And you know the thing I'm amazed about watching that seven car come through there, he was in the outside lane leaving turn four and sliced his way through the traffic when things were happening in front of him to get to that inside lane and have the chance to make that move and look at that. <laughs> and what's neat about that is so often these races, you know, a guy gets pushed out, there's a lucky move, somebody gets a hit. and made that happen. Bang, bang. And that's the and right there is where it came of out. caution. And watch the.